Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, I wanted to show you how we could create some ladders in, say, a platformer where we could have our person jump on the ladder, go up, go down, and basically just traverse through the level as needed. So, this is what we're going to be building. Um, I'm all the sources and everything you can download from the website. So, yeah, there should be no questions. So, let's actually close our finished product and get right into it. So what we have in front of us is the basic framework of the game that we just saw there. You can see I can move my character left and right, I can jump, however I can just fall straight down the ladder. I don't, I'm unable to go up and down these ladders and traverse through the level. So this is just a basic overview. We have a couple sprites here. We have our tile set, our character sprites and stuff like that. And just like normal, I have my states for a script, and that's just so I can use a state machine. And then we really only have three objects here. We have the object solid, which is just a purple rectangle, a object ladder, which is the brown one, and then we have our character themselves. And I'm not going to go through each thing, but let's actually look at the room here. The room design is pretty simple. We have our solid instances here, so you can see which ones are ladders, which ones are walkable or collisions. And then we just are using the tile set to build everything else. And then we only have the instance of our character. So the first thing we need to do with our character is we need to detect when our character is gonna walk over a ladder. And we can do that because we are using this particular object, ladder, instance here. So in our character, in our step event, if we maximize this, well, horizontal movement, you can see we already have one for ladders. So I'm going to make sure everything else is closed. So our ladders one is open. And right now we have to detect whether or not we are on a ladder. So we can do this with a simple if statement. We can say if place meeting at the X plus whatever horizontal speed we have and the Y plus the vertical speed. So if we are moving, we wanna make sure that we capture this and we're gonna check for the object ladder. So if we run into a ladder, what I wanna do is I wanna tell this instance that we are now on a ladder because I don't wanna be adding gravity when I'm on the ladder. So I need a way to stop gravity while I'm on this specific ladder. So I could just say is on ladder equals true. Now the opposite obviously else so if we don't have anything, so we haven't collided with a ladder, then we could just say is on ladder equals false. So let's make sure that we declare this in our create event. So we'll go back to our character, click on create, let's add it up here. So underneath our states, we'll just say is on ladder equals false. So right now we know that we are currently on the ladder. So what we wanna have happen is our character or our player needs to either press the up or the down key. So we could grab that input and we'll call it vertical input. And we're just gonna use a keyboard check for our key down minus keyboard check for key up. So this will give us either a negative number or a positive number, depending if our player pressed the up key, which is W, or the down key, which is S. So now that we have this vertical input, we can make sure that we are checking that there is some vertical input, and we can easily just say if the vertical input does not equal zero, then what we want to do is we want to add some vertical speed to our player. So right now, the only thing our vertical speed is being used for is the gravity right here, and this is pretty basic on all platformers. So we're gonna be adding some information, or sorry, we're gonna be adding some more vertical speed onto our player. So we could say, we'll take the vertical input, which again is either one or minus one, and then all I wanna do is times it by our acceleration variable, and if we take a look at it, our acceleration is 0.5. And now the next thing I have to do is I'm going to have to clamp that speed. Now, because let's say the ladder is really long, our vertical speed could get up to 100 and you just you fly off the level and you don't want that to happen. So we're going to clamp this vertical speed. So we'll say clamp vertical speed and let's set it at the max. Sorry, it's underscore max walk. This is a variable I created, and I don't want the full speed, so I'll do times 0.75. So 
So max walk, so the walk speed I have is set at is four. So it'll give me a little bit uh, under, I think three or whatever for that. Now I wanna make sure that I can go, whoops, I can say the maximum speed is negative that value and then positive that value because we need to move up and down. Now I do have a state machine in here. So I could say state equals character state dot climbing and the reason i have the state machine here is i have at the very bottom all this animation so when we are climbing we just change the image speed to one and then we set our character to be able to climb so we'll use the climb sprite which i believe is this guy right here so it just it looks like that okay so let's go back to the step event and let's go back into the ladders here. Let's see here. So we have everything. So let's actually, the one thing we're going to have to do is make sure that we use this is on ladder. So in our vertical movement, when we are applying gravity, if we are on the ladder, we don't want the gravity to be applied. So we could say if is on ladder, or sorry, if is on ladder is false, or if on ladder equals false, then that's when we want to apply the gravity. So let's try this. Let's run the game and let's see what errors we have. So I should be able to come over and if I press the down key, you can see that I am moving down. But if I let go, my character just slowly goes up and until they hit the top. So that's one thing that we want to fix. And we can do this right here. So if we don't have any input at all, then our vertical speed will be set back to zero. So if I'm on the ladder and I'm pressing the down button, I'm the, the down key and I stop moving, I want my character to stop. Now we could keep them in the, the state here. Um, actually, why don't we do that? Let's say if we are on the ladder, uh, let's put them into that climbing state. So let's try this again. Let's run it and that state should stay once they hit the ladder. You can see that we automatically go on the ladder and let's fall off and we switch. Now that pretty much handles all of the stuff that we need to do here. You can see that we've, we've already done a lot. So right now we can't jump off the ladder and I wanna see if I can get stuck here. I know that when we do some jumping, we might get stuck. So let's actually do that and see if we can make our game crash. But this is the basic working example right now. So if we wanted to add jumping, we could say, you know what, if we are on the ladder, then we could say if the keyboard uh, check, I misspelled that wrong, check, and we want, let's say, pressed key jump. So if they've just pressed the key, well, we already have some stuff down here. So if they've just pressed the key, let's do this right here. Now, the reason that we are doing everything with the vertical speed and not the Y position is because we're hoping when we do the vertical movement that this check right here is going to check and catch the solid objects that we're going to collide into. Now, with this, now that we're able to jump, let's see if we can actually cause the game to crash or get into an infinite loop. So I'm gonna come down here and I should be able to jump and you can see I can slowly move up. Now I'm gonna move over a little bit and see if I can get stuck in here. Now I know I did it in test, so I'm not sure if I will be able to do it um, not in test. It looks like it's working pretty well. Um, so uh, we may not have to do anything actually. Our check is working just fine. And so with that, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters in no order, but here we go, Jean, Paul, Pixel Giant, Victor, and Wayne. And also, thank you for watching the videos. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment in the description, anything to get the word out. I will see you next time.